Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video I want to share with you how I play the guitar solo to Comfortably Numb as recorded by David Gilmour with Pink Floyd. So let's get straight into it here. The first lick starts out on the 14th fret of the first string. We're going to do a big rake into that and go... So what I did was this technique where you drag over the strings, you rake through the strings, but you're muting them. So you get this, you know, kind of rake sound, and then you come out of that to the 14th fret on that first string. So. And then from there, we're gonna bend that up just a half step and then we'll bring it back down, then 15 on the second string, so. So that's the first lick, and I'm gonna break down this solo for you phrase by phrase, but before we get into the rest of it, if you're new to the channel, I wanna give you a gift. And this is really gonna help you out with your soloing and learning to unlock the fretboard. I put together this awesome fretboard guide that's gonna show you the five chords and scales that I use to map out the entire fretboard. And if you wanna play solos like this classic Gilmore solo, or learn to improvise anywhere on the neck, this is gonna be one of the most useful PDFs you can grab, and it's completely for free. All you gotta do is just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide, or you can click the first link down below as my gift to you. All right, so coming out of this lick, we're on the 14th fret, and then we're on the second string with this bend here, 15th fret. Then we bring it down, and we come back actually through what looks like an A chord. It's just all the way up here, an octave higher. So that's 15, then 14, 14, and then 14 on the third string, 14 on the fourth string, and then slide it down two frets from 14 to 12, and then pluck it again. So, so far it goes. Now I wanna talk a little bit about the tone that I'm using. I'm playing my Strat here, and I'm actually plugged into a distortion pedal and a Leslie simulator. So this is an effect that was used by Pink Floyd a lot, and it's basically like plugging your guitar into a organ speaker. So a Leslie speaker that goes with an organ, and it just gets this like swirling, floating sound and it's great for soaring leads like this. So after that lick, then we go back and we do the same thing again. So we do another rake into that 14th fret and then bend on the 15th fret of the second string and then and then we walk down even lower. So we do 15 to 14, this time we're gonna do a pull off. And then 14, 14, so that's 14 on the third string, 14 on the fourth string, slide down to 12, and then play 11, slide down to nine. So the idea there is we're just working our way down the major scale, the D major scale. And then pluck pluck that seventh fret on the fourth string, so. Now here, it's tough to tell whether he's pulling with the whammy bar or doing a slide and then the whammy bar, but what I do is you wanna go, you wanna get this sound of nine going up to 12. So once you come down, 
So that's a big bend there. That's nine bending all the way up to 12. And then, and this is something that Gilmore did a lot is he would do these big floating bends and then he would get other notes as he came down. So it's like, that's the melody, 12, 11. So that's a step and a half, a step, and then natural, and then seven. So all of that is from nine. And that's how I get that sort of big bend sound. Then you come up and you go 11 to nine, pull off, slide down to seven. So backing up. Then we're using the pentatonic here and this ties right in with the fretboard guide. You'll see this shape. And we're gonna play the ninth to the seventh fret on the third string, pull off, then nine on the fourth string, seven on the third string, nine. So just a real quick pull off there. And then again, we're staring it up. So bend nine up to 11 and then up to 12. And it's all just in the bend there. Then that note rings out and we do another rake back up to the 15th fret. So this is 15 pulling off to 14 after the rake. So you rake through the strings and then 15 pull to 14, then 12, then 15 on the second string pull to 12, and then grab 12 on the third string, 12 on the fourth string. And really I'm thinking about this chord here, this G shape, right? Like that, just up the octave and you go. So you gotta kind of grab those extra notes there when you're coming down the same fret, but on different strings. And then slide from 10 to nine, and then do this final little pull off to slide. This is 10 to nine down to seven. And then right there, you're back on the A chord and they're singing the chorus, I have become comfortably numb. So let's put this entire solo together. And what I'm gonna do is bring in a little rhythm from my looper pedal. And what I played was just the chords for this section, which I actually teach in an entirely different video here on YouTube, where I just break down the chords. So if you need help with the rhythm, be sure to check that out because that's the chord progression that we're playing over. Get set and I'll count us in. One, two, three, four. So have fun adding these classic Gilmore licks to your soloing vocabulary. And remember that you wanna play along with me here in the video, but you also want to play along with the actual recording. And that's gonna help you put this all together. And to master this anywhere on the neck, be sure to grab my fretboard guide. This is gonna show you the exact patterns that Gilmore is using and give you a system for basically mapping out the entire fretboard. You can grab it completely for free. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide or click the first link down below as my gift to you. 
As always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and for more Pink Floyd, check out this video next.